Grouse Mountain is one of Vancouver's three urban mountains. In the winter, it's popular for skiing and snowshoeing. And in the summer, it has lots of different activities, including Vancouver's most challenging hike, lots of family activities, and adrenaline pumping zip lines. It also has an activity we're pretty nervous about. So please join us for our day on Grouse Mountain. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Chris, and this month we're hanging out in our home base of Vancouver, British Columbia. Today we're visiting Grouse Mountain, which is located just 20 minutes north of downtown. We're spending the day here, and we're going to show you five different activities you can do on the mountain. Let's start with our first activity, the Grouse Grind. Most of the activities are at the top of the mountain, and you can get there by taking the gondola or hiking the grind. The hike to the top of the mountain isn't easy though, and you need to be in good shape to do it. It isn't called the Grouse Grind or Mother Nature's Stairmaster for nothing. It's only 2.5 kilometers long, but it's a grueling 800 meters elevation gain over 2,800 steps. The grind usually takes about one to two hours to do, but the record for the fastest man up is 24 minutes and women is 29 minutes. Again, the grind should only be attempted if you're in good shape. Otherwise, the gondola is the best option. The first quarter of the grind is the easiest, but it still looks like this. This is usually the first one I notice. Six of 40. <sighs> when you get to nine of 40, you think you're getting close to the quarter, but it's all a lie. One quarter mark. Oh, halfway there, 24, 40. It's hard to see, but that's the three quarter mark. This last quarter is really steep. You should have good shoes, good hiking shoes. Uh, make sure you bring plenty of water and make sure you bring a good high, high calorie snack. Almost there, 39 and 40, the end is nigh. This is the last little rocky bit right before the end. When you come out into the sun, you know you're done. Here are a few quick tips for hiking the grind. Number one, the trail can be pretty busy, so stick to your right and pass on your left. If you're hiking in a group, try to stay in a single line so you don't take up the entire width of the trail. Number two, if you're visiting Vancouver and only some people in your group want to hike the grind, those that don't want to hike it can take the gondola up and everyone can meet at the top. Number three, you're not allowed to descend the grind, so most hikers buy a download ticket and ride the gondola down. On to activity number two, the zipline course. The Grouse course has five different ziplines and you can reach speeds of up to 70 kilometers an hour. Let's make like jackets and zip off. We're now about to get on our fastest zip line yet, and we're going to reach speeds of over 70 kilometers an hour. Hands on the bar, knees up! And now we're climbing up to the longest and last zip line of the day. That last zip line was a lot of fun. I was really trying hard to beat Chris on the side-by-side -side race, but uh, his uh, his weight won out. <laughs> he's uh, he's claiming that it was his technique. Uh, I I take offense to that. <laughs> I I was I was more aerodynamic somehow. Uh -huh. We still have a lot to do on Grouse, so let's get to activity number three: eating. There are lots of food options at the top of Grouse, including a fast snack area, a cafeteria-style restaurant a casual sit-down restaurant with amazing views, and a pub, also with amazing views. Yeah, there's lots of dining options here, but Chris and I are frugal, so we packed our own picnic. 
Before we get to our last activity, and the one I am the most nervous about, let's check out activity number four, the bears. There's a handy trail of bear prints that we can follow to wherever we need to go. This is Grinder and this is Kula from Bella Kula. The two resident grizzlies on grouse. We just chatted with one of the rangers here to get the story on the bears. The bears are in captivity because they were orphaned when they were really, really little and they were not able to survive on their own. Both bears were independently rescued in two different parts of BC. They were rescued by forest workers and brought to a reserve. From the reserve, arrangements were made to build an enclosure for them here on Grouse. Normally, two male grizzlies would not be able to live together, but because these two were put together at a very, very young age, they're living their lives together here on Grouse Mountain where they've been for the last 22 years. We were also able to check out the bird show with the beautiful bald eagle named Hercules and the greyhorn owl named Cleo, and explore the grounds before our last activity. And now for our last activity and the one we're most nervous about, the ropes course. No, we're not ziplining again. We're starting our ropes course. Next part of the course involves balancing on these logs behind me. Can you see the camera shaking a little bit? Oh, it's scary. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Chris is making it look easy. Oh, that was quite the adrenaline rush. The green course was definitely enough for me, but uh, Chris is going to continue. I am so glad I'm not doing this. <laughs> Chris finished the ropes course like a pro. <sighs> that course was fun, but I'm glad it's over. And that's our day on Grouse Mountain, starting with the grouse grind, then zip lining and the ropes course, with lunch, birds, and bears in between. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.